Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a secure file request in Microsoft OneDrive. Have you ever wanted or needed to request files be sent to you and wanted to ensure that it was being done securely? Well, let me show you how to do it. With the file request feature in OneDrive, you can choose a folder where others can upload files using a link that you send them. People you request files from can only upload files. They can't see the content of the folder, edit, delete, or download files, or even see who else has uploaded files. This feature is currently available in the web version of Microsoft 365. So first thing you're going to do is go to portal.office.com. Again, I have that bookmarked in my bookmark bar, so it's an easy, quick way to access the portal. Once signed into the portal, click your waffle on the left-hand side, and then OneDrive. Once in OneDrive, you want to select the folder where you want the files to be uploaded. So I'm going to create a new folder to have specific files be uploaded to. So I'm going to click New and then Folder. And I'm going to title this. Once you name the folder, click Create. Now click the check mark next to the folder you created. And at the top of your screen, you're going to see something titled Request Files. Click here. Now you're going to enter the description so that the recipients know which files you're requesting. Then click next. There are two ways you can send this file request link. You can copy the link here and email it to anyone that needs access to upload the files to this folder, or you can send it via email directly in this window. You can add as many people that need access to that link you can also type a message. Once ready, you can hit send and the recipients will receive an email to a link that will allow them to upload the file securely. Again, you can also copy the link here and send it out that way as well. Let's click send and then see how it comes across on the other end. Please note, you will be notified when anyone uploads files to that folder. Here's the email the recipient receives when you share the file request link with them. Anyone that you have shared the link with will be able to upload files to the request. However, they are not able to see or edit other contents in the folder or see who else is able to upload files. Once I click Upload Files, as you can see, I don't see any information besides what is being requested of me to upload. And then I click select files. And now here is where I choose which files I will upload into this folder. The recipients have the option to add more files. So if there's more than one file, they can do each file individually here. And it will ask the recipient to put their first and last name and then click upload. As you can see again, my file is uploaded successfully. However, I have no access to see what other files are in there, what other files were uploaded or who this link was shared to. If I click upload more, it just brings me back to the area where I can add more files to upload. So now if I come into my OneDrive and click on Vendor Paperwork, which is the file that I requested recipients upload to, I see here that a file was uploaded. The person's name appears first in front of the uploaded file name. It also tells me the date and time that the file was uploaded. A few last things I wanted to point out. You can stop requesting files by deleting the file request link once you are done receiving files from others. Once you've deleted the link, people with the link won't be able to upload files to that folder anymore. Let me show you how to do that. If you click the check mark next to the specific file and then the three dot ellipses, come down to where it says manage access. 
Here is your link requesting file uploads. You can click the three dot ellipses again next to that link and then click the X. That will completely remove the link. I'm going to show you that, but I also wanted to show you one last thing in the settings that is very important to note. Any request files link that you create will expire after 180 days. So if this is a link that you want used ongoing, please note that after 180 days, you will need to generate a new link and share that out with the recipients. With that being said, you can also choose exactly which date this link will expire within the 180 day time frame. So now if I remove the file request link, I click yes to delete. You will see that disappears completely. And now if I go back to the link that was sent to the recipient and tried to upload files, you will see here that this link has been removed and I no longer have access to upload files. Friendly reminder that our what the tech section on our employee website is constantly being updated with new tools, resources, and features. Let me show you quickly. The overview calendar page always has the registration links for any webinars that are coming up and these are constantly updated and stay tuned for upcoming in-person PD opportunities that will be added to this calendar as well. If you click the video tips heading on the left hand side, you will see a library of all the what the tech emails that are sent out weekly. Below that you will find resources matching each Microsoft tool that the video is discussing. Below the video tips is our Microsoft 365 tools and resources section, which again will give you an exciting library of tools and resources surrounding all Microsoft 365 applications. All of my previous webinars are recorded and the library of those recordings are housed here. Also new to the website is a section titled Suggest a Topic. Here it will bring you directly to this form where you can share a topic idea with me. And finally, on the overview page of the site, if you scroll down to my contact information, you can book time to meet with me directly here. That link will bring you to my bookings page where you can choose what type of one-on-one -on -one training you're looking for. There are many different options available for you to schedule. Remember to check back regularly. This site is always being updated. I highly suggest you bookmark it in your favorites bar. Now you know how to create a secure file request in Microsoft OneDrive. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech tip. See you then.